Good day, friends. My name is Ruth, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to more modded Skyrim, to Beyond Skyrim Bruma. We're doing that right now. Uh, so let's recap the last episode. We started Ugly Love, a quest that was given to us by Dumrag. That name. So I guess we should just go to him and tell him that Simon Simon is the guy responsible. I think, right? Uh, then we can do other stuff, I guess. Even though it still shows us that we can speak to people here, I think we should- Oof. Oh my god, get out of my way. You're standing very creepily like over there. I don't know the, if I'm going the correct way to be on service hall. Who are you? And so Skyrim's new favorite folk hero chooses to grace us with their presence. The Dragonborn, I presume. The burdens of fame weighing you down? Well, don't worry. I assure you, you'll receive no special treatment from me. Oh, I didn't expect that. Ah, so you're the welcoming committee, is that it? A joker, too. Wonderful. Yet another troublemaker for us to keep an eye on. At least if your attempts at sardonicism weren't quite so... posturing. Many before you have thought themselves invincible. Above the Thalmor, above the Dominion, above their precious empire and its laws, its concordats. They now find themselves hanging from trees, their decrepit husks wasting away amidst near-endless blizzard. Enjoy your stay in this fair city. What do the locals think of you? Not highly of me, I suppose. Then again, the feeling is mutual. No, that doesn't surprise me. So you're a member of the Thalmor? No, I just wear the uniform for fun. Oh, ha, ha. Yes, of course I am. I'm here to protect the Aldmeri interests in Bruma and ensure that the terms of the White Gold Concordat are upheld. Important, given that we're so close to Skyrim and its rebellious little Nords. Not many Altmer in Bruma. Next, you'll be telling me... My, oh my, not many guar in Bruma. Scales of Ori L, thanks for telling me that. I'll be sure to tell all my friends. Put up posters, even. How about we cut out the verbal sparring and have a civil conversation? Hmm. To hear you speak of civility is somewhat disarming, considering our environs. This city is filled with uncultured louts who I suspect would quickly turn on each other for an ancient bottle of mead. Given that you at least have the vocabulary and mental faculties to understand the concept of civil society, yes, let us speak. Oh, I hate you right now so but much. But be quick about it. Disarming lack of incorrigible idiocy aside, you are still not my idea of a scintillating conversationalist. Why the attitude? I am Altmer. I was born and raised among the wizard lords of Eleanor, and now I am posted to a frigid squat filled with brutes and drunkards. That doesn't exactly lend itself to a warm disposition. Does that make things any clearer? That doesn't justify being so unpleasant. Nor does ignorance justify obstinance. But that lesson evidently hasn't trickled down to many residents of this frosty backwater. Oh well. I suppose a Khajiit can't change its spots just like that. But yes, to put a long story short, we are all products of our environment, are we not? I don't know why I'm spending time talking about him. I'm gonna Goodbye. leave him. Goodbye to you too. I won't even try talking to that guy. Anyway, I went the wrong way. Out of my way. Sarana, sorry, I'm going to push you. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? Thank you so much for so oh my god, Lucian, if I could ask you, I would. Like, I definitely would. But I can't. That's not a thing in this game. Uh, let's go to the service hall. I'm lost. Like always, that's nothing new to this channel, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't matter what game I'm playing. Okay, that's not where I want to go. Guest wing. Oh, great hall. 
Okay, now I think I know the way. Probably. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go to Demrak. I'm assuming he will be in the tap and tech, right? That's where- not the tap and tech. That random in that I forgot the name of. Like, I want to call it the tap and tech, and I called it, because it's basically in the same area where that inn was. Um, so you know. <laughs> if I could get rid of this horse, I would. Although I guess I would probably feel bad as well. Ah, uh, this shot gives me Christmas vibes. I don't know why, if you put on lights, you know. <laughs> Probably because of the snow. Okay. Yeah, anyway. Let's go to them. Well, are you sleepy, Serana? Or was that a guard? Hello. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help with, madam? I just want to speak to everybody. How do you like serving the Count of Bruma? It's a fair position, at least on a temporary basis. The pay's decent, and we get food and free rooms. So I can't complain. My brothers up in Skyrim would probably laugh seeing me here. They can take giant clubs to the face for all I care. I like the people here, especially old Farsvar. Well, good for you. I respect Have a good that. day. As long as she's happy, that's what matters, right? Who are you, though? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a priest? Why did you become an acolyte of St. Martin? Oh. To ask me why I became an acolyte of St. Martin is to ask why thunder strikes, why rain falls, or why the wolf hunts. It is because this is what comes naturally to me. Being an acolyte of St. Martin comes naturally to you? You seem confused. Allow me to explain further. We all follow a path through life. We all desperately attempt to influence it to go a certain way, or lead us to a certain destination. Others desperately attempt to steer it away from a destination. The amount of influence we can exert upon that path varies, but is invariably limited. In many ways, we must all make the most of what life gives us, and adapt to its trials accordingly. Without boring you with specifics, it would be appropriate to say that my life so far has taught me many lessons of sorrow and grief. I have constantly been set back, and my attempts to change my course have always been met with bitter resistance by the winds of life. It is through St. Martin's example that I truly find my inspiration to become more than I am. It is in this that I am enlightened, and hope to be reborn. Okay. See you. Good to know. Now where's the inn? Uh, is it over here somewhere? Ah, uh, it's over here, I think. No? A cut above. No, that's a store. Ah, uh, here we go. The restful watchman. That's what it's called. Right. Okay, is Demrag here? He is. Let me just take a seat near you for- Oh, is that dice? Interesting. You're back. Any news on my wife? Who's the spineless wretch that sold us out? Tell me, now! Well, let's see if I can tell you. It was Simon Gautier. Gautier? The Breton? Mm-hmm. Rip his... Calm down. Wait, a Breton? Really? A Breton? Weak-willed, soft-spoken magic practicing bosses? Yes. How could a Breton overcome an orc, even with bandits on his side? I remember overhearing talk in the castle that Simon at a luxury manor up in the east of the Gerald somewhere. Go search this guy's home. See if it actually was him. Find something, anything, that conclusively links him to the crime and bring it to me. If it is the damned Breton, that's when we act. Sure, I guess. Let me just wait. Let's see. Let's wait for maybe five hours. Okay. Bretons. They're like fresh born. Oh, he's shot. annoyed. <laughs> Pretty. Uh, obviously, an orc will not like a Breton. Let's be honest. Oh, it's still dark. One more hour, maybe. Ah, better. Much better. I do wonder if I used my horn. Would Shadowmere come or? Hmm. 
Although, do I have Arvac favorited? Been a while since I've summoned Arvac, right? You know, might as well. Uh, let's check the map first. It's over here. Okay. Same. I guess I could technically summon him here. There we go. There's a lot of horses here. Now let's make our way to Simmons' house. It, it feels kind of weird riding on Arvac because it's been a while since I used him. I probably l used him last when I was playing through the Dawnguard questline, wasn't I? Something like that. But yeah, he's one of the cooler horses, isn't he? Well, aside from Shadowmere. But Shadowmere doesn't really have a unique design other than its eyes being red, you know? But still. Oga. Almost. Rode straight off of a cliff, basically. Alright, you more nobles, I'm assuming. Making their way somewhere. Let's see. How should I... I guess, though, I could fast travel to Plundered Mine. Because I don't really want to travel through those mountains again. That was annoying in the last episode, so... <laughs> I would rather just go straight from there. What? What in God's name? Arvag just saved me. I don't know. I don't know how I teleported into the sky, basically. But that's what happened. Now let's see. I guess we're going on foot for now. <laughs> for Arvag. Somehow through here, probably, right? Let's see. Can I zoom in? I wish I could zoom in more on the map. That would be nice. There's someone on the horse. Is that Sarana? What the hell did she end up there? And she's being attacked by a bear. <laughs> that poor woman. Technically, she should be able to kill that bear, but... Um... Now let's go help her out. Save as well. There's something blue over here. Um, or glowing blue, I should say. Fallen storm clubs. Oh, she probably summoned him. Let me kill him. Because I want to see what he has. Um, a freight page. Boots of iron. Medium rebel helmet, iron sword. Ornamented Nordic key. I will take that. Uh, winter hold guards. Winter hold rebels. I really like how it looks. You know what? I'm gonna steal that. It won't be as good as what I'm wearing. But maybe I'll do something with it. Oh, I can. Does the key not open that? Or do I have to have a special key? Let's read the page. Take the goods, Rangvar, he said. Resupply the others as necessary, he said. An easy mission even for you, he said. <laughs> Once again, Angvirs dropped me right into the path of a giant and his mammoth. I've given everyone the wrong bloody keys, including me. The guard patrols around here are too heavy. Pale Pass Imperials, they're not, but I doubt the Bruma Guard have too many Stormcloak sympathizers among their ranks. I imagine I'd be disemboweled if I even dared press the issue, so escape's not an option. What else can I do? Sit here and bide my time? <laughs> Knowing my luck, a bear will wander over here and maul me to death. <laughs> no, Rangvar, stop being an idiot. Come on, you've got the sleep in... Sleep on it? I can't read. Think on it, and you'll be back drowning in me that at Candleheart Hall in no time at all. What? He died. I'm guessing I have to find the other keys somehow. But I'm assuming this place, it's not marked on the map. So... Maybe I'll remember to come here once I find the keys. If I find the key. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, 
let's go through here. I thought I could pick that. Apparently I couldn't. How do I... More berries. Stop attacking the deer. The deer. Come on. Not very impressive. Believe me, sir. Another. Although for bears, they're strong, but we're too overpowered at this point. <laughs> okay, I think we're here. I should save. Because I feel like there will be guards here, or something at least. Mercenaries, maybe, I don't know. I see one person. Will you let me in, or do I have to kill you? Your life is I'll kill you. you won't kill me. Although you do have a lot of health, I have to admit. He had brandy. Let's steal his brandy. Rice bread. Something's wrong with the textures, I think. <laughs> it looks kind of rotten at this point. <laughs> Set of iron armor, huh? Oh, actually, it looks... I do wonder... You know, let me steal it. I think I can carry it. Yeah. I just want to see how it looks. Probably throw it out or... Give it to one of my followers to carry, I guess. Anyway, let's enter the manor. Oh god, everybody's just... Oh, hello there! <laughs> Die. This will hurt. Time to die. Done and done. I'm just still their money, I guess. Okay, who else should I kill? I thought there would be more guards in here. Well, let's look around then. Crumpled papers. Simon Gautieri's letter. Ringleader Jazar, I understand your concern, but I assure you the payment was sent months ago, as agreed upon. However, I was, as I was most pleased with the light-handed work of you and your crew and the orc received, very expedient transport as requested. I will resend the payment to make up for this unfortunate and inconvenient error in the transit of funds. Forgive the vague turns of phrase, but you must understand that in matters such as these, discretion is required. If I am to preserve my rank within County Bruma and avoid any legal complications, some things must remain unsaid. Directly, at least. Simon got here. Oh, I'll take that. Anything else I could... Oh, that is a good-looking apple. What do we have in the safe? Of course, I'll take the gems. Necklace of major wielding. Ooh. Filter of hell. A lot of septums. Fast healing. Empty wine bottle. Why is he keeping an empty wine bottle in his... I have no idea. Wheat lamp. Ooh. Not... There's a lot of symptoms of laying around. And I saw something. A copper necklace. Wait, does it look like... Ah, uh, it, it is? No. Does it have the oblivion look to... I don't know why, it just reminds me of... I don't remember how the amulets look in that game. <laughs> but it can... Oh, more money. We'll take care of every Although at this point I don't even need the gold, I guess. You know? Because I have so much of it and I just don't have. I don't know where to spend it, <laughs> basically. Anywho, let's go back to Demarag. Hopefully I won't spawn in the sky again. Okay. To the end we go. Who are you, Galarin? I'm Galarin, Synod Hopeful. If you have any cuts or bruises, I'd be happy to practice my restoration on you. Practice, you say? Who's that old witch behind you? So you're a mage? Yes, I am. I'm hoping to join the Synod Conclave here in Bruma. 
What do you specialize in? Restoration mostly, but I also enjoy alchemy and alteration. Not so big on destruction. I like preserving life, not taking it. How did you end up in Bruma? Oh, I was born in Bruma. I traveled around Cyrodiil and lived for a few years in Coral, but the mountains and the cold air always called to me. My parents used to say there must have been some Nord blood in our family for me to love the snow so much. There probably isn't, of course. My parents were from High Rock. That's about as Breton as it gets. Too bad they aren't here to see me make the Synod. I think they would have been proud. Yeah, you can really tell she likes the cold because of how she's dressed. <laughs> she should be freezing. Did something happen to your parents? They died a while back. Papa got sick, so Mama went out adventuring to try and raise money for a healer. Mama never made it back, so Papa never got his healing. I'm not broken up about it anymore. It happened several years ago now. But I do still miss the feeling of family. Of being loved, you know? In any case, being a mage of the Synod will help with that. That will be my place to belong. Well, good for you. Farewell. I wanted to see where that old hag went. Because I was interested in who the hell she was, but she just disappeared, so... Oh, what the hell are you doing? Okay, Damrag, where are you? Oh, apparently I'm blind. Oh, time to speak again. I have more information for you. Good morning. Look. Okay. I found this leather at Simon Gautieri's house. Let me see that! Don't yell, jeez. That, that bastard! Yes! He did it! I can tell! Plain as day! He tries to speak in riddles, but it seems he's not all that good at subtlety. We found the bastard! And it seems... It implies he got her alive. Perhaps she's still alive. <clears throat> Come, my friend. It's time we got to the bottom of this. Once and for all. We're going to Gautier's house. Now! I'll follow your lead. It's time for retribution. Um, which house are we going? Why Gutierrez's house? He wasn't there when I went. Well, he wasn't at the castle when I went to do a little investigation while you were away. So he must be somewhere. I bet he's at the house. Just probably not in plain sight. Slimy Breton bastard. Don't tell me he has some kind of cave under it. <laughs> okay. Time to get payback. Hell yeah. Search Simmons' house for traces of Demrag's wife. Demrag. Okay, let's see. We can fast travel there to save time. Okay, Demrag, let's go. Don't mind the dead naked body here so laying just it, huh? like, you know. <laughs> Damn Breton and his creature comforts. Let's head inside. It's time to end this. Yeah, again, don't mind this guy. <laughs> I definitely did not kill him and undress him for some odd reason. <laughs> oh, Simon, where are you? Is there some kind of hatch or something? Okay, wherever you are, you slithering eel, I will have my revenge. On the second floor, maybe. Although I would imagine it would be on the first floor. Look at this, silverware. Materialistic Breton bastard. Doesn't surprise me. The hell he's teleporting all around the place. Um. Well, if I learned anything from Oblivion, there's usually. I can't push this. Hmm. There is no need to push. I mean, you're in my way, Nigo. That's what he thinks of her? Of course it is. Just another one of his possessions. Another trophy in his cabinet. That's slimy. Calm down. Um, I will steal everything, but there's nothing that I need. Third era timeline. Um, Dumrag, I have no idea where he might be. I can't talk to him. Hmm. Wait, didn't he talk about something? Um. 
Wait a second, the wrong thing. Wait, no, wrong thing again. Oh, I, I gave him the letter problem, but wasn't he talking about Wait, some kind of or... Would you look at this? There's a trap door under here. Where? And these barrels got pushed over it. <laughs> that little eel tried to hide oh. himself by hiding the way in, eh? Destroy the barrel. Oh, my stupid. Well, or I'm stupid. That's that. Now let's march down here and find my wife. Okay. Apparently I'm oh, blind. I almost thought. Better than expected, I suppose. But some nosy type came asking around about mercenaries and bandits and payments. I told you the brute was back in town, and now it seems he's got a lackey who's on our scent. I even felt the need to barricade us in here for protection. This constant running and hiding is... I know. This is... I don't know. This is still so strange. It's hard wrapping my head around it sometimes. Yes, I... I know what you mean, dear. But sometimes things just... <laughs> happen. She and you're foolish to fight back. It's unfortunate that we have to keep our relationship as secret as we do, but what choice do we have? Quiet, Massimo. Just relax. They're in love. You sneaky, slimy, slithering bastard! Here with my wife! My wife! You deviant backstabbing! She's mine, dumb rag! She loves me! Your lies can't save you now, you ignorant son of a... I love him. Well, that's Ooh, interesting. Faithless wretch! How dare you! How dare you forsake me so brazenly for this corrupt, spineless... Do not, I... Enough of this! Atul loves me. She no longer loves you. You must come to terms with that orc. Now, leave our home and never bother me or her ever again. This comes as a shock. What, what do I do? What, what, what do I do? Leave them be. Try to forget they ever existed and rebuild your life. I... You're right. This was bad business all around. No good can come from stooping to this level anymore. I know coincidences, and this certainly wasn't one. Too meticulous, too perfect, too pre-planned. Don't give me a lot of symptoms. Um, it, it seems we're still in dialogue mode, <laughs> talking mode. Uh, are you still What's following done me? Done is done. It's time to move on. I'm done here. Can I talk to you? I can't even talk. To Greetings. Okay. Oh, grapes! Another thing I have not seen in Skyrim. What's done is done. It's time to okay. <laughs> Out of my way, everybody. Let me turn that one. I'm on the second floor. I don't want to be here. Okay, then. Let's see. What else do we have? For sure. Bench your. I guess we could go talk to Dartek too. Or, you know what, let's take the shipping request first. Oh my, it's far away. I guess I'll go to the shrine of Namira and hopefully nobody will kill me there. Okay. No more enemies have spawned here, which is nice. Now we can go to Greenwood. Might as well since we're out here, you know. I should find the smith in Bruma, because I would really like to improve the armor that I got. See how good it is. Although I don't have any blacksmith potions or my smithing stuff, you know, that I've enchanted with the smithing thing to make it better, so I can't really make it as good, you know? Can't really max it out, I guess. But still. I guess a part of me just wants different armor, which I really like changing, apparently. But yeah. Although I do like the dragonborn armor. Looks really cool. 
Okay, hopefully I will not kill myself by doing this. Like, this was just made for climb. <laughs> or was it? Oh, that is a troll, which I will not go fight. Yeah, don't mind me. Oh, this place is very green. And I like it. Oh, is there an alien ruin somewhere? Nearby? Or at least there was. I guess I should go through here. Because I'm assuming it's up here somewhere. Is Greenwood a village or... I think so, kind of. A settlement maybe, but no, there's only two houses. Ah, <laughs> oh, actually, what was like that? it. Made that noise? But don't tell me they're going to attack me. Where are they fighting? Exactly. I guess I should help them. I don't want them to die. Out of my way, people. Let the professionals kill them. Okay, which one? You. Greenwood's picturesque this time of year, huh? It is. I have the shipping request from Stantis Valeria in Bruma. Ah, Stantis. A good family friend one of the most prolific Greenwood mead purchasers. Here, I'll write him a note for you to take back to him as confirmation of our acceptance. Do give him our best. Oh, he even has an animation, the nice. Hey, Inigo. Can I help What's you? What's going on? I just want to talk to you. So this is where Greenwood mead comes from? Yes, indeed. Greenwood mead is enjoyed all it over Cyrodiil, and we're actually. the proud family that makes it all. So? A nice, calm, quiet it life. Just suits me nicely. I can't explain why exactly. Tell me about the history of this place. You're probably best asking my father, Amiel, what about that. Something just All I know is that there used to be some village something here like or something. And like I said, you're I best you asking Amiel. I understand. See you around. Thank you. I guess I could do that. Where did they go? Hello. Got any work available? Perhaps. We tend to draw our water from the nearby river, but the source is, sadly, currently infested with ogres. Strong brutes they are, let me tell you. Since we'd rather not get mauled by ogres, we haven't tried to clear them out. We're just normal people, not warriors. We've been hoping for a mercenary to happen by so we could get this problem sorted out. But not many tend to come around here. What do you say? There'll be coin involved. Sure, I'll clear out the ogres. Great. There'll be some good coin in it for you if you return successful. The source is northeast of here. A river. Be careful. Right. <clears throat> This, this, so that I know where to go. Let's go kill him. Might as well since we're here. Now the ah, oh, they're over here. Why did my spell not? That looks weird. <laughs> Never thought I would say this, but I guess it's time to try Ogre Teeth. Let's see, what does it give us? Our damages are magica. How do you even eat teeth? Oh, Steel Warhammer. They have maces and stuff. Where's the third one? Ok, 
Okay, let's go back to the red guy. How do I? Hello. I cleared out the ogres infesting the source. Excellent. Now we can get Greenwood Mead production back on track. Thank you, my friend. Here, take this coin. Friend? Tell me about yourself. I'm Amiel. I found this meadery and came up with the family recipe. Don't make it anymore, though. Afer and Rona run the business now. So this is where Greenwood Mead comes from? Yes, indeed. Very popular, too. Here, have a free sample, straight from the meadery. Tell me about the history of this place. Ah, Greenwood has a long, storied history. What do you want to know? Uh, tell me about the creation of Greenwood. This place used to be a little village called Bleaker's Way. Oh, I know that. They say it collapsed on account of infighting during the late Third Era. It was left weak, as one of its original inhabitant families got killed by the other. Yeah. The family remaining never really managed to restore it to its former prosperity. Or so they say. Then, the Great War happened, and the village got caught in the crossfire. It ended about as well as you could expect. After all was said and done, I decided that I would build something here. It's a picturesque place, and I thought it'd be a shame to let this place become some sort of battle scar forever. That's how Greenwood started. Tell me about your life before Greenwood. I used to be a soldier in the Imperial Legion during the Great War. I was at Bleaker's Way during the skirmishing. I tried to defend it from the Dominion forces, but I was just one man. I pegged a couple of them with arrows and fled to safety. Tell me about Afra and Rona. Afer's my son. Good lad. A bit set in his ways already for his age, but I guess that's what living in Greenwood does to you. Afer met Rona, love of his life. She is up in Bruma. They were both staying at the same inn, and after some talk at the bar, well, they ended up staying in the same bed, too. No. Oh. Tell me about Greenwood's mead success. I know as much about it as you do. I made the mead, people seemed to like the recipe, I refined the recipe, and it just kept selling and selling. No more audio, apparently. Soon I was selling to nearly every innkeeper in Why Sierra people Dome. like it so much? I thank the Divines and my own hard work. Got to put your heart and soul into it. That's what makes it Greenwood Mead. Or so I believe. Sure thing. What do you want to know? Nothing, probably. Goodbye, friend. Should they talk to you, Welcome maybe? to Greenwood. We don't have much in the way of lodgings. Are you here for our delicious Greenwood Mead or just to enjoy the sights? Yeah. Goodbye. I learned everything from him. There's no point. Okay, Bruma. Let's see, where's Dartek too, though? He is... I'm assuming in Bruma, right? Maybe even at the same place. Yeah, I think they're both in the... Um, Gerald view in, so... Let's go there. Okay, let's see. First, let's speak the to you. The general view is quite an agreeable mm -hmm. venue. So, what can I play for you? Adias has agreed to dismiss the charges against you. He has? This is wonderful news! Uh, calm down. However, he has also been forced to evict you from residency in Bruma. Thank you for all the help. Wait, what? <laughs> he said he had no choice. He did it. He did you as much of a favor as he could. This one... This one understands. He thinks. Bruma citizens will have to do without their friendly neighborhood cat burglar. For now. 
But where will this one go now? His home has been taken from him, and the Geralds are not so hospitable for sleeping rough. You know, New York has Spider-Man. Bruma has Dartek too. I don't... I have a lot of followers. Taking him on would be like... But now I feel bad, you know? So, um... You know what? We're going to give you a trial run. You could adventure with me. Hmm. An interesting proposition, <laughs> honored friend. Allow this one a few moments to consider it. You could say no. Oh, oh who is Tartakto kidding? <laughs> of course! It would be an honor to travel with you. Let's go then. Onwards! Two gold and perhaps less run-ins with the law! We'll have two Kojits on our squad. <laughs> now I have five a five people team, I guess. Four with me. You know, I can leave My him later because I feel one bad right now. To himself, Where will his story make you forget the question? Where will he be <laughs> when age Welcome concerns. to the Gerald View. What can I get you? Your father was a wise one. Let's see. I have this invoice from Afra for Malleus. He gives you his best. Thank you very much. Here's some coin for your trouble. I wonder if that courier will ever turn up. Good. A lot of people say alcoholism is a bad thing. Come, warm yourself by the heart. I say, in some cases, it can be beneficial. The less I Until need next blood, time. and the more I more food or drink, I The name's Yotra. I keep the place clean that and tidy for, for our customers and guests. Point. And cook the fine meals that we're so renowned for. So. Do you have any jobs that you're doing? As a matter of fact, perhaps so. We're currently waiting on a delivery of cider from Apple Watch, but, well, it's late. I don't think anything bad has happened. Poor Abon's probably just overworked, but we need that cider before our stocks go low. I'd be happy to provide you with the appropriate recompense. Sharfang? Excellent. Apple Watch is just to the west of Bruma. Please, hurry. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother. It's just that my most prized possession has gone missing, and I fear that without help, I'll never get it back. I normally wouldn't approach a stranger like this, but, well, I'm at the end of my tether. I could really use some help. Could I hire you? I could pay you handsomely. Sure, I guess. Uh... I need more information first. I... Okay. Give me a moment to compose myself. Sure thing, I guess. There is a priceless heirloom in my family that has been passed down throughout nearly my entire ancestry. As you may know, we Dunmer revere our ancestors greatly. Ancestry is incredibly important to our people. Therefore, you understand how important it is to me that my heirloom is returned. I am... Uh, my apologies, friend. This theft has left me quite flustered. I'll help you. Excellent, thank you! The heirloom has been stolen, well, by all accounts, the thief fled to the northeast of Bruma. I suspect they're holed up in Frozen Grotto. If you are able to retrieve my heirloom for me, I'll be forever in your debt. Sure. Of course. Now first I want to find the smith. Oh, jeez, I took you spawned weirdly. Do I have my light? Okay, I should turn it off. If I remember correctly, the smith used to be over here somewhere. At that end, the end of the city, so let's see. Who are you? Razada the Resplendent. Razada the Resplendent <laughs> greets you! How can my arcane ability and esoteric enlightenment help you on this fine day? Oh my god, you hear like a walking ad. Oh, he's that guy. You know what? Got any work that needs doing? Yes, indeed. To my great regret, a few scalawags here in Bruma appear to have not paid their bills for their enchanted weapons from Rosada. I am beside myself with angst about this, as you can no doubt imagine. So, my fair and, might I say, rather imposing friend, if you would be willing to speak to these scoundrels and acquire my warranted compensation, I would be most obliged. Sure thing. Excellent! Allow me to arm you with more knowledge of the aforementioned Look, mischief makers. Like You'll need to speak with Roland Wickert, the young chap at the Synod Conclave here in Bruma. 
Stantus Falaria is the second of these reprobates, the owner of the Geraldview Tavern. The third is Stable Master Ila the Upright. Clearly the title was given rather than deserved. Do this for me, and I shall bestow coin upon you for each, and a truly copious recompense indeed once all three mischief makers are dealt with. Sure thing. Let's see what he has in his standard inventory. Oh, how mundane a soul you are. You could acquire commodities such as these from any charlatan. Very well, take are a look. Are you saying that you're a charlatan, though, as well? My question. Staff of Icy Spear. Nope. Don't need that. Nope. There's a lot of spell tomes. Here, firelight. Hmm, interesting. Could be useful if I didn't have my lantern, right? I don't need anything. Goodbye. Well, I guess I will buy one of his unique items. Um, maybe once I do... Oh, the Synod Conclave. I might be able to join that, maybe. My Northern boss. Arms. My dad is up. Let's leave. wait for... A few hours till it's morning, so the, the store would actually be open, because I feel like even if it's not locked, you know, it, it still might not be open. I, I don't know how to. Let's see. Yes. What's your name? Okay, now it's closed. Oh, come on, open. 10 a.m.? Oh, okay. I'm assuming we need iron for that iron armor to, you know, improve it. Hmm. But is there a thingy to improve it here? There should be. Ah, oh, there is a workbench. What is it? I want to see what you have for sale. It's all for sale. Just let me know when you've made up your mind. Okay, I will. Let's see, what do you have? Ebony mace? Actually, was considering making a mace. The axe felt more natural. Oh, this has the cyrodelic look to it. It looks nice, actually. I do like it. Although I wish there was more powerful stuff. You know, heavy iron armor. Ooh. Kind of want to buy it. It's cheap. You know what? Do like the leather armor as well. Bellows. Why would I need that? Uh, let's see. Farewell. Take them to the fur armor. How much could I? Sixty-two. My boots are at one hundred thirty-four. So <laughs> one thirty-eight. Uh, half as good as. Where's the heavy? I, I bought it, but I can't improve it. Interesting. I think I'll do that off camera, but I think I saw Hello. something interesting I could ask him. Uh, who is it you're complaining about? His name is Renard Eventon. Damned fool apparently thinks he's the divine's gift to singing. That he's guy. terrible. And he's loud. You can hear his terrible performances from the streets. It's getting very irritating. The beggar Ronte has shown a particular interest in getting Renard to shut up for some reason. No. You could go speak with him. Perhaps he'd even pay you. How the hell would a beggar pay me? Farewell. I have no idea. Part of me wants to quickly fast travel back to Skyrim and improve that set of armor, which I might do off camera, just to see, you know. Well, anyway, I guess I'll end this episode right here then. Let me stand somewhere over here with a nicer view. The next one we will go into the Synod Conclave. I think we will join them if we're able to, which I think we should be. And then we'll do the other side quests, I, I guess. And maybe Synod quests if there are any, which again, I'm assuming there are. So I do hope you enjoyed this episode, this mod is amazing, I'm enjoying it a lot, so this is a fun playthrough. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode, uh, please like and subscribe, uh, consider following me on my social media somewhere on the screen or in the description below. Hope you have a very great day, great weekend, goodbye.